Assalamu alaikum. Today we shall talk how to use new plot to produce and save graphs. This video is for the beginners. Last time we talked how to produce DOS and PDOS using Win2K. We showed that using W2Web interface you can plot maximum 4 lines from your calculations because W2Web has the option of plotting up to 4 lines only. We also showed that how one can save the results in a separate directory for future use. We showed that if you write minus D in this box and then specify the name of the folder then click the button it will save the results in this directory. That video can be accessed from my website this is the number 7 here. Today we will use the results saved in this directory. I have here the save the results and we will show how to produce uh, plot using new plot. Now I will use these two files DOS1EB and DOS2EB. If we look at these two files we will see that DOS1EB has 7 DOS there are eight columns actually. The first column is the energy values. It goes to the x-axis and the others you can choose which one to go to the y-axis. Similarly, in DOS2, we have two DOS and the first column is again the energy values. We will use these two files to plot. So, for that I need to go to the terminal and first I will use new plot and hit enter to go to the plotting environment. Now if I write this line the after plot command I have specified the file and the file name is in the quotation marks then I want to use the first two columns. First column goes to the x axis and the second column goes to the y axis. So I used using space 1 colon 2. Now I want this plot to be lines so I used W space L with lines and the title I want to be this again the title is in the quotation mark now if I hit enter it gives us the nice plot now you can save the results clicking this button there are many options many uh, saving options so you can save as PNG as PDF also as SBZ now if you want to add more lines you can do so you need to write uh, command for for the other line after comma here so here the, just the quotation marks with nothing it means that i'm i like to use the same file i specified earlier this is actually the short command of using and the title is titanium total because in my file the total contribution of the first atom is in column 3 and the first atom is in my case is titanium. So if I hit the enter button now it gives us the plot. So you can add as many lines as you like and also you can specify the x axis and y axis here but I like to show you how to do it with a script. So I prepared a simple script and I will go through it so that we can do uh, we can plot now I need to quit from here so I will write Q and hit enter so the script is available in my site so this is the script new plot script I have saved the script in the folder where I have the results so this is the script I have now uh, first I will just go through of this script then I will show how to use them so when I, whenever I start a line with hash mark these are the comments for the new plot. New plot will not read those lines. So first I set the plotting type or plotting, in, plotting environment that is the width of the first line should be 3 and the color should be blue. I specified 8 such lines then I said that it should go cyclic that is the ninth line should be like the first line. Now then 
I set the environment to be PNG because I like to save the file as PNG and I specified the name of the file. You can change this also the size of the file and if you like different font you can specify here. Then I specified the X level, X axis level and Y axis level with this. So again you can change this here whatever you like. Then this is the same line that I used in the terminal. Now this will save the result as PNG but I like to save it as a post script as a EPS also. So I reset the environment to be EPS and uh, specify the new name then I just use replot. So it will plot everything whatever plotted before again and save the result as EPS. So let's try this. Now with the new plot command I need to specify the name of the file. So I need DOS. Yes, this is the name of the file. If I hit enter it will plot and it open the plotting. Actually new plot script doesn't open the file plotting file automatically. It open because I have speci I have this line here. So whenever in the new plot script we start a line with exclamatory this one got, goes out of the new plot environment to the terminal environment. So that's why it's opening the file. If you don't like you can just put hash here or you can delete this line entirely. So here I have the results. Now you can see here I have extra spaces in the x axis. So I don't want them. I just want to get rid of them. So I use this command set x range to be however the data is. So I don't want the any extension. Now if I plot it again. So you can, uh, sorry I didn't save it. Now you see I don't have any extra thing. These are the zeros. I have zero points here. You can see at the beginning these are the zeros. That's why there are this thing. Even if you don't want this line, this uh, portion, you can specify here x range like this. Whatever values you like, whatever portion you want, then it will plot only those portion. Now I want to add more lines. So I will use this. You can add uh, more lines like here we have used after comma this, but I like usually writing replot so that I can write all this line one after another and it is easy for me to figure out what is it's doing and here the these three lines it will use the same file but the last line will use the other file dos2 so if I, I save it and then I execute the plot command again let's see Sorry, I didn't specify the multiplot. So I got it. So I will uh, set the environment to be multiplot. Then it will plot all these things. Now, before going to the replot of this for the post script, I need to unset the multiplot. Now, yes, you got, you got it. So you can see all these lines. Nice plot. And here if you look at this here the EPS file also saved. So if I show you so this is the EPS file. Now I prepare usually EPS, EPS file for including it in the graph sorry in the report or in the paper. So because whenever you zoom it doesn't fade out that is the resolution is same. So I have here say almost 800 times zoom. Now you can read the letters clearly but with the PNG it's not possible. So let me show you. You see it's already fading out. That's why I usually prepare EPS for including it in the report and also in the paper for publication. Now I like to plot in a way 
where the horizontal line this zero line oh sorry before going to that i want to add a vertical line here at zero so that we can easily distinguish the zero point for that i use this command y zero so let's see how it looks oh sorry and No. Okay. Here we have now this line. Sorry, I also forget because I usually have all this written in a file. I just run those files just changing these things that's why i sometimes forget okay now we want this horizontal line to be in the middle and say we have up spin and down spin we want to show up spin at the top and the down spin at the bottom so for that i will just uh, comment them out and we'll use this here actually you can see i'm using the same file but the first time for the first line this is going to be as usual i have wrote in write it as up spin if you have different file you need to specify them differently because usually that up spin come with here up and the down spin comes with the file here with dn now since i i don't have this i have only this file that's why i'm using this you have to be careful which file you are using so the first line will be up spin and the second line here you can see i use the same line but i inverted it to be uh, with minus sign that is a minus will be minus one will be multiplied with the first column here before plotting now if I go to the plotting, so here you can see I have this line, I have this graph, this is the up spin, this is the down spin. I want a line here also at zero. So I will set this one. So if you plot now, you can see I have. Now if I want this one to be color, I will use the this one here, this command here. You can see now this is, uh, I don't know if you can see it or not. This is a different color. So you can specify the color or different line like this, however you like. So this is uh, taking from this file. Now here, there are something more here i have see i have used this mark and then i have gone to the second line you can do this with this one but if you do so this one should be the last character in this line otherwise you just need to delete entire thing with uh, no you can uh, just write them up but i prefer using doing like this so that I can see the na names and uh, I, uh, this is easy for me to understand. Now you can use also replot but there are uh, there is one problem with this. I'll show you first I, let me show you the plot then we'll go through it. So you can see the replot it has several lines this is the extra line we don't want it and also you can see there are problem with the leveling the axis. This is happened because when it used this line, it plot it, and then when it, I asked to be replot this, it failed to shift the axis from here to to be this in the middle entirely. That is, it kept some of them and uh, shifted other things. We can get rid of this by specifying the y-axis range before, so that. When I specify this, I tell new plot that I'm going to use this range. So it 
shifts it uh, before plotting everything. Now, if we go here, you can see now everything is nice and clean. <coughs> so, I hope this will be helpful. You can use whatever lines you like and you can specify. There it will be lots of manuals. You can also, there is one manual new plot. You can look for it in the website, um, in the web, and you can use uh, informations from there also. Remember here, you need to be careful about using the name of the file. Be sure about the name of the file because if you mess with the name of the file, you won't get the plot you want. Okay, that's all for today. Thank you.